Welcome back. Okay, so this is part two of our Intro to Backbone JS series. And I just wanted to talk about uh, JSBin. I'm on JSBin right now. This is JSBin.com. And basically what it is, is you can, it's a website where you can go in and you can start coding HTML, CSS, JavaScript. It's like a live online code editor, if you will. And then the nice thing is that after you've, um, you know, put something together on this page, you can actually download it and view it on your browser. So I'm a paragraph here, I'm typing some HTML code, like you can see, and then I'm going to give some CSS for my document, so I'm going to make uh, the font um, size like maybe uh, 32 pixels or something like that. I'm a paragraph. Maybe we'll change the color to, um, to pink. Okay. I think you barely see that paragraph. Maybe we could change it to red. Okay. Cool. Nice thing too is here we can also put some JavaScript on the page. So you could say alert hello. It's um, you know, typical hello world. So now that I'm good and done, I can just download this. And then once it's done downloading, I can actually just open the page. And boom, hello, I'm a paragraph. It's nice. I don't have to do anything like, you know, open a Sublime editor or, um, you know, start writing all this stuff from scratch in like my, you know, uh, text edit or whatever you have it. it. You know, I don't need to use anything. It's just all ready to go and I can just see website like right then and there. Another nice thing is that I can add libraries in here. So I can do stuff like I can add jQuery, you know, which is pretty cool. So I can go in here and I could just say, you know, uh, this is a jQuery function that I'm writing that will load when the page loads. So um, maybe we can do something like uh, console log uh, actually, console might be kind of confusing for today's um, example, but we'll just go with it and I'll explain it as we go. The console log is basically just log to the console, hello. And then we'll also do our alert. And the console is just something that belongs to a web browser. So, um, you know, whenever you're looking at a web page, um, you can pull up the inspector tools and you can see what exactly. Um, you know, the page, what exactly was logged in the console of that page. So I'll show that for you too. So actually that's a good exercise. I'm glad actually I'm um, talking about that because that will be useful for later. So I'm going to go ahead and download this page just as we talked about. And here's the newest version of this page. So I'm going to open it. Boom, we get our hello again, we get our inspect paragraph. And here, just like I did, I right clicked here. I'll do it one more time actually, I did that kind of fast. I'm going to inspect the element. And here, you can see, here's my console. This is what I get when um, I look at a page. This is my web inspector. I'm using Safari. If you use Chrome or you use Firefox, it's still the same procedure. In fact, we can do that. I'll use Chrome this time. And I will go to my downloads because I downloaded that. Actually, it might be simpler if I just go to Safari. And then I just view this in a finder. Okay, here we go. It's cool. So I'm going to open this with Chrome. Boom, we get our hello again. And if I right click inspect element anywhere on this page, I'll get that same web inspector that belongs to Chrome and I'll get the hello. So it's great. You can try this with Firefox, you can try this with Windows. But the nice thing is like that the good thing about JSPIN is that you don't have to do any sort of like, you know, find a sublime editor or, you know, uh, go to the command line, create a new directory, or even, you know, old school, right click, create a folder here, then start building your HTML document, then your CSS document, then your JavaScript document, then viewing all of that stuff together and linking it. It just works. That's why I love JSPIN. JSPIN is a great site.